Genetic testing for Parkinson's disease can be an important tool for understanding your risks and planning your future. However, genetic testing isn't for everyone. In this video, we'll briefly discuss Parkinson's disease, who should get this test, what the results might tell you, and how the results might impact your life. Parkinson's disease is a movement disorder that causes trembling of the face, jaw, hands, arms, and legs, stiffness of the arms, legs, and trunk, slow uncoordinated movement, and poor balance. Many factors can contribute to the development of Parkinson's disease in a person. DNA variants or mutations in one's genetic code account for about 5-10% to of all PD cases. In addition to genetics, PD risk can be influenced by age, environment, and family history. home genetic testing for Parkinson's disease may be appropriate for those with a family history of the disease. This test is completely optional and is offered to any adult who wants to understand their genetic risk. This test is not intended for minors under the age of 18. Individuals who are affected with PD or who are experiencing symptoms should also refer to their regular healthcare provider. A neurological evaluation is needed for anyone who is experiencing symptoms regardless of test result. If you fall into this category, you may also be interested in exploring free testing through PD Generation, a Parkinson's Foundation initiative for better understanding genetic causes of diagnosed Parkinson's disease. For unaffected or asymptomatic family members with affected relatives, it may be most informative for the affected relative to get tested first if they are open and available to testing. Our test mirrors the PD Generation test in several ways but is also available for those who do not have a Parkinson's disease diagnosis. We analyze seven genes that are known to be associated with Parkinson's disease. This test does not include analysis for any other genes or conditions, and we only report genetic changes that are known to be disease-causing. That means that the information you'll receive on your report is concise and informative. Our understanding of Parkinson's disease is always developing and improving. Future testing may include additional genes, and our interpretations of test results may change. An important thing to keep in mind about testing is that not all Parkinson's disease is genetic, and not everyone with Parkinson's disease will experience the same symptoms, age of onset, or severity. This means that your test results may not be definitive. A negative result does not guarantee that you will not develop PD and a positive result does not mean that you'll certainly develop PD. Your risk can vary based on the gene and variant identified. What this test can tell you is whether you have an identifiable genetic risk for developing Parkinson's disease based on our current knowledge and scientific ability to identify known genetic variants. Genetic testing is a very personal decision. Results can have both a practical and an emotional impact which are important to consider. There is currently no cure or actionable way to reduce the risk of having Parkinson's disease, which means that some may prefer not to know their risk. Positive results may also have implications for future planning, including financial planning, healthcare planning, and reproductive planning. And since genetic changes can run in families and be passed down in different ways, Positive results may also affect immediate family members and children. Sometimes, healthcare providers will recommend that certain family members receive testing after a positive result. One last consideration is that of insurance. The Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, or GINA, protects individuals from discrimination by an employer or a health insurance company based on genetic testing results and genetic information. However, GINA does not offer protections for disability, long-term care, or life insurance. It also does not apply to members of the U.S. military or employees of the federal government, Indian Health Service, or Veterans Health Administration. If you choose to take this test, here's what to expect. You can place your order online and complete a basic health questionnaire which will be reviewed by an external licensed physician. Once approved for testing, we'll mail you a kit and you can collect your saliva sample and send it back to our lab. 
Results generally take three to five weeks to process. Results are delivered to your secure online account in PDF format. Once you have your results, we encourage you to consider making a genetic counseling appointment to discuss them in more detail. However you choose to proceed in your healthcare journey, we wish you the best of luck.